I want to say if you run a troll mid, you probably now lose most of your towers to pretty quickly. So it's kind of, you, you say it's, it would take a while to get up. We do tend to see more of an aggressive coddle usually come out. I know you're kind of talking about that, the idea with that with the clockwork even. Uh, but he is going to be babysitting again. The, oh, middle lane, by the way. The ice shard's coming to this time, a much better block. But it's going to be enough for an actual kill. Dendy's running away, the orb of venom on him. All they can do is run, Self. though, but I'm pretty sure he's dead here. He pops a fairy fire, another auto attack. Yeah, that's going to do him in. First blood comes First out. Blood. Favor, there, get an early point in mana leak just so he has a way to zone back the Dark Seer a little bit. I don't necessarily mind the trade off, especially if he's going to jungle his way to like a quick three or four. Because that lets General get some early levels. Clock's going to get his levels with Cogs at some point. And then once you've got that level one, level two illuminate, then you rotate top. So I don't mind it. I, I think it's fine. By the way, we see the power of that living armor coming through right there. Level two tree protector, he gets that living armor. And... Early yeah, he's gonna he's gonna hurt. This might kill him. Twenty eight, ten, three, zero. There's a fit of bonds on the entire creep wave, but it's rough for both sides. And the warlock has so much experience for a support warlock right now. He's level four and a half at six minutes, and maybe better with the kill on general here. Can living armor hold? There's, There's the bonds kill. again. He knows the kill. It's 100 a kill. Let's call the shrine. No, he's like shrine. Come to me. <laughs> Doing fantastic himself. 46 and 19 creep farm. Got the phase boots. Get more assistance from Fiverr. Meanwhile, middle lane. Dendy will go down. Tusk actually. His way back in, but he does not know. There's two more here, including the Juggernaut actually. Up here. So here comes the bash initially. No belief saying. Never mind. Pop, but the the top of him as he's running towards their tower. All right. He wanted to get on the TB, maybe less. And they turned that into a Sunder and turned to fight. Ooh, got the haste. Oh. <laughs> so there he goes. Oh. Oh, he's like, ah, oh, now it's bait. He's gonna overgrow. Go for the turn kill on the tusk. Tusk did a good job with the ice shot. Play's been actually boxing out. Any support's coming in. And Sedenko will be killed off in the end. A chaotic offering was committed for that, so. Yay, he's not going Midas. Midas. Oh, trying to get right there on the Seneco, but another one nearby than maybe expected. Jenny's gonna play in with that ball lightning. Gonna get the kill to see him eventually, but the walrus punch right before. That's some good damage right there, so that Jenny has to be careful with his life. The middle bond is up, but how many leashes of Penny? Oh, so Pike, careful. Back to base. Careful. Catapult right there. Pike, as you mentioned, maybe overextending a little bit. Fiber will port in, but now Terra, he's gonna run down. He has to pop the honest slash, so what defensively right here? Going for the Terra Crown on TA. They might get it. It's gonna be a big one out that They will get the kill. On him, a nice bounty coming out for Pike yet. On oh, the Juggernaut in. Life Stealer, all I can do is run away. Fiber's insane. Vision in. Tusk, what is this now? Life Stealer top lane. Oh, he's gonna get to Kurt. Thwack! Has been killed. But we'll be fine, so Tusk. Uh, Waiting around patiently, that works out. Nothing on so, it, right? Tusks, oh no, Dendi just brought himself a uh, quiz game. Even with the plays from Navi trying Radiant's to keep him in this. Yeah, nice CP in though from Darkseer. That's what saved him. The mech and the surge both getting him out of a bad, bad spot. The fight already. Well, Aster is bottled up. Definitely encourages that as Juggernaut also being gone. Ooh, I could encourage that as well. Omni Slash is ready. Can you maybe get that off in time? Look for a turn. If anything, he'll survive. He will actually just spin instead. Chaotic Offer now will send him. I'm sending the backlash is down here. Go for the Gauntlet Warlock. He'll pick him up. But again, he's kind of just dominant sense. I'm not going to kill Omni Slash now. Going out the bounce between a couple of units right there. But Life Stealer feeling most of the pain. And he will end up going down though. But gee, speaking of pain, he's dealing plenty of it himself. And Clockwork is going to end up falling. Trap going to miss right there on the Coddle. As you can see, there's the agency used, by the way, for a replay oh. But it ends up being three kills. You know, looking for the chance for a hook shot as that solar crest is picked up. Dondo! Warlock in the back of by, by the team. I mean, Dendi. Dendi just going in, falls to the wall. However, ball may be a little bit too big right now because he has to be careful about this. Warlock does eventually fall, but they are pretty deep. But you know what? Dropping out too, and he will go down. So Vega's body just simply cannot react it up. You know, chaotic offering especially. They have darks here, but the wall's not going to be the best place, man. And eventually everyone of Navi just kind of walks away. Not done just yet, actually. 
Yeah, this team is just go, go, go. They're totally ready to fight. Omni Slash still up here. Yeah, I agree that that Genji especially has played very well, but at the same time... We found here Living Armor. He's tanky with that Solar Crest too, but not going to be tanky enough. Darkseer MVP. Vacuum the... In and they're looking to make some big plays right here once again, so Chaotic Offering is up though. The fact that that's the key for Vegas Fox. He's a life from the uphill. He's going to that immediately. They're on the toggle. This one with the Amanda style right there. They just got reached. So the armor goes this right after them. Oh. But in comes the Chaotic Offering. They will catch Juggernaut. Juggernaut goes down. And now G trying to run down at Demi right here. However, the TP is up through for Vegas Fox. Wow. That life stealer was so tanky. Thank you for the entire Omni Slash. Not even. Not even really flinching. But he advanced right before that fight. We saw him use it right mm -hmm. there. And, you know, he used it right before the overgrowth, so that was kind of a short time to get him As now we see Tusk and Venus and Anomaly. They're just about Juggernaut, so they are missing out on the quite bit of damage. So they will pick off Tusk, and they're going to go for my other one. He's all tanky. He was last time, though. I don't think he's going to be tanky enough this time, however. Surge comes out, but he gets stunned, unfortunately. And he will end up falling right here. Simon also going to accept the yeah, athletic back. And maybe kill the carrier. That'd be fun. Not gonna happen, so he goes down, and actually it is a very good hold for Navi, despite being down the juggernaut. They get three, and damn it, Denny wants more, the blinding light pushback, once again, Viper making the big play. And Afterlife is gonna fall, unstoppable streak indeed for Denny, 21 blood stability. That's gonna get the TA, and life's gonna run. Tusk, yeah, that was a vicious move on his part. Blinding light pushback, he's dead. Chaotic offering into the vacuum wall combination as well. And their cockpit and knock spot is not here. Is it actually Vegas Fox in the one that's in the knock spot? Is it being spun right on top? And Life's really gonna best bomb now. He gets a kill on a clockwork, trying to hold his ground right here, and it will be enough for him to be killed onto uh, Dendi as well for the first time this game. So that seven kill streak stopper happening right there. And they are gonna lose Juggernaut as the Aegis comes up. But now Dendi is trying to come back in. Again, he has those bloods on charges, so he comes up very quickly. Like that. Spinning away, but guess who's back? It's Dendi, bitches. He goes in on the life stealer right here. But he needs to be careful about it. Back wall to pull him on in, Dendi. Now realizing that, yeah, he has to get on out. It's going to be a lost cause. At least try to save the Juggernaut, but it doesn't happen. And Juggernaut does end up falling in the end. So that's a victory for Vega Squad. And that to feel good because Navi was really unfair. Okay, stress out. Overall, this team is not the greatest lockdown, but Rodavito's alone almost feels like. Yeah, the problem with BKB, um, Walrus Punch and Chaotic Offering both still go through it. So while it's really nice, you may be leaning more towards the Lincolns. Yeah, exactly. I think they're both going to do similar things. Like, Lincolns can get relatively easily popped by a Snowball uh, or a Shadow Word or something like that. But then again, yeah, there's BKB Piercing Stun. So you just take the fact that Lincoln does better stats and, and go that way. Yeah, how about this, by the way? But they pick off live stream. Undendi. This is the dream storm rune. He's gonna use it right here. Pop goes to the TA. He's in trouble. Dust comes down. So Nell's not gonna save him here. In fact, nothing's gonna save him. Omni slash committed, but again. Copy. Yeah, Orchid's up on Dendi. Keep in mind, look for him going on Warlock here. No, he is gonna jump Warlock right off the bat. No chaotic offering this fight unless he can't kill him quick enough. He cannot. Remember, Cape is popped, and now will he find the chance to use it? It looks like now is the chance. There it goes down. Omni Slash was bouncing around. General's trying to live now. As he's running away, Overgrowth does get in down a little bit. But the chase still continues. General, though, the cost goes off. Nobody kept for the longest time. Finally, Warlock will fall. And now Pycat, he's trying to run, though. Juggernaut, he's trying still to play got his healing game. ward. In the background, though, you see Dendi going after TA, and Dendi will get the kill. On a D, and that's a key one because he's dead for 80 seconds. No five, I think it's a kill on the Tusk as well. And now here comes a turn from Navi. The healing board is put down. And Life Stealer with a couple of auto attacks. Nice arm with toggle right there. And gets the Go for it. The yeah. Dendi, talk about going in, being a YOLO player himself. He will be YOLO there. And Hold the Sonako. The all the match comes out. And is this going to be a complete cleanup in favor of Navi? It looks like a triple kill for Dendi. He's back up to 21 Bloodstone charges. And nobody has a buyback. It's full. I mean, they're, they're entirely full. Pycat micro that word so well. It wasn't that they weren't trying to. It was just they, they couldn't get to it. That, what a great, great fight from Navi. It would have been better if they got the Warlock to start it off. He got a great Bond's Chaotic Offering off, but just not quite enough. And the healing were doing so much work. Yeah. It, it's amazing to me that that fight did go so well for Navi, considering... Warlock lived the initial onslaught and actually got it. Really good placement 
of the chaotic offering oh. mm -hmm. um, forcing him to get said item is distressing it's like that's already kind of a winning having that hero alone kind of does that so the reason why tree and protector is a strong Oh, but Tree's been getting caught right here with a couple, but out comes the Crimson Guard, actually. And here comes the support now, it's Juggernaut. You can actually start running away, but Dandy, he's doing his thing in the back left. Tusk, he's dropping low himself. What a big overgrowth of five heroes! Oh, there's a lot of losers there. See, with Oni Flash goes off as well, and going from hero to hero, gets caught in dark here. Fiber! Now they will lose Tree Protector. Actually, Dandy's having some trouble with the life over here, it looks like. But Warlock also having trouble against many others. Falling blind light pushes TA over the ledge, but it's just not gonna matter. TA goes down. Life stealer is like, well, go for him. Go for him. We saw what happened last time. Vortex pulls right back in, and there's the kill. And if you're big, I think that uh, uh, GG is looking pretty appetizing here. Nope. They want to buy back. They want a chance. Big <laughs> <laughs> time right there. The vacuum. Pulled him in, stalled him a little bit, but the last hit Jeffrey here definitely for a uh, big one, that is. But the end, he's going to be putting that eliminate going through, and again, he's getting the damage from it as well as High Cat, putting in plenty of auto attacks. TA, that's a tie back for him. Life Dealer is simply trying to be that last stand effort, but it's not going to happen. GG is going to be cold, and not be will take game to Yeah. I liked the draft out of Vega, I really did, but they, they all just needed one or two more items. Your TA needed to get to BKB, and your Life Sealer just needed to get to anything. And 